Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be hopping in and fighting some more bosses on our list. Hopefully you guys are ready. Alright guys, so I know we've been doing some farming here in Terraria. And uh, by the way, welcome back. It's been a little while, been a little bit, been, a, been about a week or so. But uh, definitely still in the same spot we were last time. So, let's kick this off today. And we're going to focus on more of these bosses. We are at the point now where I think we could logically kill the Wall of Flesh, but we have a list of uh, bosses that I want to complete and, and, and acquire or, and defeat, of course, before we get there. So um, next on our list is the Ancient Flyer. Kind of a weird name, but that's, uh, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to summon the Ruler of the Skies. Now the Jewel Crown I think I have a couple of them already, and I think they actually drop. Uh, you can actually get these crowns uh, by going into the sky areas on the clouds, and you'll see some kind of like bone, like uh, bone harpies. And yeah, you're gonna want to take those guys out. So let's go ahead and get this thing. And I don't know if this can be summoned during the day or not. We're gonna find out um, before long. And I don't know what potions we actually have. But I'm sure we have some good ones we can probably use. Of course, iron skin is always, always a good one. Um, shine is a pretty good one as well. Uh, I'm not worried about obsidian skin. Regeneration potion might not be bad. Swiftness is always great. And let's see, anything else? I'm not sure what this does. It increases pickup range for life hearts. That might not be a bad one either. Anything else? Um, you're set ablaze, but damage is increased moderately. For 25 seconds, you're, you're on fire. That doesn't sound very good to me. Um, but I think that's pretty good. I mean, we are, you know, pretty OP at this point, I feel like. I mean, we're not super overpowered. I mean, we still have you know, a little ways before we can actually get there. But I mean, I do feel like we can fight this guy over here and I think we would be fine. What we have is this nice open arena. We have flight. I'm not worried about, you know, him taking over me or anything like that. But let's go ahead and get this. Uh, let's get juiced, I guess. Let's see if it'll spawn first. Yes, it will. And uh, we're going to just go ahead and before he kills us, Try and get some of this stuff done. Um, looks like our guys are already going after him, which is kind of hilarious. All right, so this guy is doing. Oh, he. Ooh, those things are pretty nasty. All right, so let's get let's get into action. Let's get this guy out. And it looks like our they're doing a pretty good job of of keeping up with him. I mean, for the most part. The things he, he does rain down, those are not my favorite thing in the world. I'm pretty sure I have. I thought I had uh, some other magic stuff on me, but I guess it's just this. This guy's not that bad. If I could get him down on the ground, I think it'd be a lot better. We're getting bees after him. We're getting him take care of. We're getting him. He's not going to last too much longer. We have so much defense that, I mean, even though we're taking a lot of hits, it doesn't matter with this guy. And look at that. Looks like he dropped a candy cane. Is that what that is? Like a candy cane or something. Look at that. Uh, wow. Okay. So... 16 summon damage. Can we summon one of them? We did. So it's a little bird. Um, it's only does 16 summon damage. It's nothing like the 36 summon damage that this guy has. I mean, not even by a long shot. So yeah, I would highly recommend more of those guys. But yeah, that was, that was on our list. That was good. So now we have this guy which says a star plate uh, beacon. So 
Um, it says, look towards the night sky. All right, so I noticed this weird thing. It says bizarre rock formation. I'm kind of curious if I kill it, is this gonna be a boss? And it is. Okay, it is a boss. Um, recall. He is probably gonna spawn back up here. I don't have that much health, <laughs> actually. I don't think to fight him. I think I encountered him last time I was here. Yeah, he is going to respawn. Um, where are you at? He was just, just then attacking me in some form. I don't honestly know. Okay, maybe maybe it's done. Okay, maybe maybe I'm good. I don't know. I don't think I was ready for him. He seems like a pretty powerful guy. He was like taking no damage. I think to be able to get the mechanical stuff that I actually need for this, uh, for the summoning, let's see, this right here. We need this uh, star plate beacon. And... The Starplate Beacon, if I can get it to pull up here, requires these tech drives from Spirit Mod. And I think Spirit Mod adds special goblins, which shows that it comes from a specific type of goblin, the uh, Mechromancer from Spirit Mod. So hopefully us summoning the goblin army will help us out here. Um, I think there's actually bosses built into the goblin army. We've already fought the goblin army once. This will be extra. But uh, I'm pretty sure we should be able to easily take out the goblin army. No problem at all. As soon as they show up. Anyways. <laughs> we just have to wait for them to show up. Alright guys, so heads up. Here's the goblin army. Look at, look at these summons just wreck, man. That is ridiculous. No joke. They straight up are just destroying it here. Oh yeah, here's where I, I figured most of the most of the goblin stuff would be at. Oh, there it is. There's one of the tech drives. Right there. Oh, so this won't take very long at all, actually. I don't even have to do anything. Just stand back and watch. Wow. No joke like that quick there's another tech drive we already have enough tech drives guys we should be able to summon the boss soon but this is ridiculous more tech drives i'll take all of them this is crazy This summon, I tell you what, level 36, that just seems so high. Just look at just how much damage they do. It is just incredible. Wow. And these guys have bleeding damage. Crazy. Crazy amount of damage. These guys have armor on. We're still just taking them out. No big deal. We should be able to make this beacon now. And there we go. So now we should be able to actually go after this boss. And I hope it summons at night. It does say at nighttime. So it is just becoming nighttime right now. How cool is that? It doesn't get any better. It's like perfect timing. Uh, I think what I want to do, though, is just for the sake of you guys, um, since it is nighttime, let's see, potions, we can get some shine, right, gill, swiftness, obsidian, uh, do we have any? I don't think we do, but we should be able to search up some potions. Um, shine. Ooh, and it's raining. That's going to be even better. Night Owl Potions. Take those. That'll help out a lot. 
And hopefully this boss is not that bad on us. So that way we'll be able to do a lot better. Okay. So let's go after this guy. It is nighttime. We're going to take him out. And it's raining. What? Well, it's going to be a, going to be just right. Perfect for this. Okay. Let's make sure he's summoned. Make sure we make it a little bit brighter for everybody. All right. Oh, wait. Look towards the night sky. How do you summon this thing? This isn't one of those like special summons, is it? No. This has got to be something else. Maybe we have to uh, go up to one of those sky areas. I don't know. Okay, I did finally get him to summon. Okay. Um, I think these guys are pretty much going to take him out for me. Um, look how much just straight up damage they are doing to him. What in the world? Oh my. What is even going on right now? This is the coolest looking boss. Explosions. What just happened? What even was that? That happened so fast. Okay, so we got the Star Charger, 36 damage. Star Plate Fragments, I'm guessing that's gonna be used later on um, for stuff. Looks like making some pretty OP armor, right? What we have on is seven, six, seven defense. It looks like nine defense on the leggings. This is six defense. What? Reduces uh, damage taken by 3%. Can we fight him again to get more of that so we can make this OP armor? What? There's no way. This, th that, that armor is that much better. It's... What? Can we not make another one? Oh, we're under potions. We can make another one, guys. Let's do this again. That was... That was ridiculous. And super fast. No way. Look at, look how much damage they actually do to him. What is our damage per second? Almost 600 DPS? He's already dead. What in the world is that? That is so cool looking. Oh my, oh man. That's ridiculous. Like the damage that they are doing is insane. And that's just them by themselves. That's like with no like buffs or anything like that. We have 31 now. I hope that's enough to make armor for this. Like an armor set. I want to make another one. We're going to we're going to make sure This is ridiculous. Oh yeah, when he gets coiled around you, that's when he can start doing a lot of damage to you. And then these little fellas that kind of spawn off to the side of them. The explosions are so good though. Oh man. The explosions are too good. Oh, four gold, man. That is so good. We could farm that for sure. Oh, yeah. We're going back. It's already raining again. We're going back, though. We're going to make some of that armor, right? Let's get some of that fragments in there. 
It's called the star. I'm guessing it's going to be called like a star armor. What is this? Summon 24 summon damage. Um, uses 11 mana. Oh, it's another one of those uh, free little characters, right? Wait, what? Is it like some kind of delayed? What is this little guy that's running around? Okay, so. Um, the Starplate Spider per periodically rains down homing wisps. What? That's so OP, but I think that would get so annoying over time. Just hearing bombs dropping. Okay, so. We should be able to make this armor set. Nine, increases movement speed by 5%, increases damage by 4%, and a max life of 10. And also, look at that defense. What does this give us? Increased movement speed. This gives us a set bonus, increased movement speed. Okay. This causes homing feathers to fall. That's, okay, I think we it's time to upgrade. Upgrade our armor. We don't need this stuff anymore. We have this stuff. This armor set, which really, I didn't see like an actual set piece for a helmet or anything like that. But that's nine defense. I want to see what the actual set bonus is. Reduces damage taken by 5%. Leaves a trail of electrical stars when you walk. No way. And it lights up. And it's that awesome particle effect that I like. That's so good. I wish it was like consistent. Like a consistent uh, trail. But that puts us at 44... Di wow, we have 44 armor right now. Defense. That's insane. 44 defense. Wow. I wonder what we would look like without our... I did not want to do that. Let's close. What would we look at like without our... Uh, our colors on us? I mean, if we weren't holding a gun or anything. Not bad. Like, we don't look that bad. It's kind of cool. I still like our our colors being on us. Don't get me wrong. I don't know what else I could even color. I mean, everything that we have is pretty nice. Even our wings are colored. Like, man, we are looking snazzy. I think our boots, our boots could be colored. But, man, I'm not even concerned right now. We just have we have 44 defense right now, with a five percent. Okay, so reduces damage taken by 3%. That's each piece. So what, we have a total of 12% damage reduction? So this one reduces damage taken. This one damage by 4% 4, 4 and max life. So this gives us 10. That's so cool. And then we also have the spirit staff, which summons another minion to fight for us. Another summon. If we had a summon set that was worth having on right now with these guys, um, unbelievable, unbelievable set. All right, guys, so we have one more boss I think I want to try and get done in today's episode, and that is the next on the list. It says, the granite energy storm use a unstable core deep underground within a granite enclosure. Oh boy, I think we're going to have to mine out actually a granite enclosure. Um, I think that'll probably be the best idea for us anyways. And uh, yeah, we can actually make this already. We have all the stuff needed. So we have that. So let's go underground. And actually, we can probably pull up our map and see if we can find a granite biome. This is a pretty large granite biome. Do we have another one that's any bigger? I don't think we found one that's any bigger than this one. Well, this one's huge, actually. This would probably be the best out of all of them. 
Yeah, we're going to have to make our way down there, though. Um, I don't think it'd be too hard. I think we just went from our elevator all the way across here, and we'll make our way over there. All right, guys, so we are here. It's also a blood moon, as you can see by the red of the, uh, the water over there. Let's go ahead and see what this boss is all about. Oh, oh my. So that was unexpected. Okay, so he has like a shield, like a, a minion shield. And then, uh, boy, he's, he's not the easiest thing to kind of attack either. You kind of get him to slow down. Oh, he's going to generate his, his minions again. Okay, so he disappeared. All right, keep an eye out on my health. This guy's a little bit, a little bit harder. I'm not gonna lie, I probably should have got some potions. Okay, so now he's shooting at us. Okay, he's regenerating his shield. Kind of get my strategy back out of uh, like kind of going around him. Still trying to target him. I wonder if this would be any better. I still don't think so, because this can't shoot through walls. I mean, this does do pretty high damage. Nope, I'm gonna stick with this gun, the laser gun. He's getting, he's getting there. He's getting attacked. He's getting damaged. He's taking poison damage. That's what it was. I said it was blood damage before, but it's not. It's poison damage. Wow, this guy's actually pretty cool. Out of all the bosses I've fought so far, he seems to be one of the cooler ones. Like, he could almost be a boss inside of Terraria. Like, not a mod. And I do believe this is spirit mod kind of cool okay he's doing that thing again this time it looks like he has more of them okay okay oh we've almost got him this makes it feel not like I like I don't have such OP Oh yeah, he like spawns like two sets of them. And we beat him! We got it, we got it done, guys. We got it done! Whew, okay. So, what do we get though? That's the question. So we killed some bats, we get some unholy shards. We get this energy storm bolter. What is this? Oh wow, the damn, the, the speed. Is that consuming my ammo? Oh, it is. That's a, that's really fast. That's actually really nice. This thing is super slow, as you can see. Super slow. But, I mean, if we, if we upgraded this thing, I think this thing could be phenomenal. Wow. Yeah, totally could be. Oh, man, that's really good, though. Let's head back. Of course, it is a blood moon, by the way. In case I forgot to mention that. Um, so all the bad guys should be out. It is raining. It's raining blood. Oh, wow. That stuff is... This thing is really fast. Unbelievable. <laughs> I still can't get over that, what, 500 DPS? We were 600 DPS we were doing earlier? Crazy amount. Yeah, do, I mean, it does a lot of a lot of damage quickly. Pretty nice. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also give this video a thumbs up. I highly recommend you guys doing that. I do post these Terraria videos usually once or twice a week. So uh, if you guys are uh, enjoying this so far, give it a thumbs up, like I said just a minute ago. And as always... 
Thanks for watching. Oh